Hey there, Mission Control. Well, today I'm gonna to start the process of working on a, a, a defect in the system. Uh, here's the louver motor control, the big louver system up. It opens and closes as the fan turns on and off, respectively. Um, I've noticed that it, it has an, a normal arm that comes off right here and the chains are attached to it. And when it would close, the, uh, the springs, which is by its design, it's designed, I didn't design this, I bought it, uh, the springs pull it shut. And when they do that, this arm goes uh, back and it doesn't come back to its uh, primary position. I don't know why they designed it that way, but it doesn't. So right now I've got some electrical tape and some uh, metal plumber's tape and a piece of PEX all, uh, all up there uh, to create a stop like a door stop uh, for it. Uh, but I want to check out that new 3D printer and see if we can't print us a replacement part uh, that's a lot better than this one. So uh, let's give it a shot. All right, so here we are. We're going to, we're in FreeCAD, which is a free software you can download. And we are going to attempt to create a new part. Unnamed part, I go to Part Design. And then I want to create a sketch because everything starts with sketches. And I think I'm going to look at this from the top down. So I need to have uh, a bar. Uh, so something that looks, looks like this. All right. And then I'm going to put some holes in it. So it's going to look something like that. And there'll be another one that looks something like that. And that attaches it to the cross member and then we need to have something else coming off of it that is going to be uh, the stopper itself. We don't want this to be too big but it does need to be strong right? We can't have it be weak it must be strong. So let's see here Let's get this to where it's all uber duper nice here. So I'm going to set some constraints. Uh, there we go. I'm going to put that to zero. And constraining very important so it doesn't just move all over the place. I'm going to set that to zero. So now that's set. Okay. So now we're going to set height here. We're going to call that. 0.75 inches, three quarters of an inch. All right. This goes in here. I want this diameter is going to be 0 0.25 inches. Oh wait, Ooh, uh, the diameter. That's radius, so that's 0 0.125. There we go. I'll do the same thing here. 0 0.125 okay and then from this vertex to this vertex there's a distance of 0 0.75 inches there we go so now if I move one they should both move but ah see I have a degree of freedom there we gotta get rid of that so put that at zero and now I can move this around everywhere I want it to be in the middle so let's go here to here, and that's going to be uh, 0 0.325, is that right? Get the old calculator out here, 0 0.75 by 2, 3.75, ah, that's close. 0.375, whoa. Oh, divided by 2. 0.1875. What in the world am I doing wrong? I am doing something way wrong here. Okay, 0 0.75 divided by 2, 0 0.375, 0 0.375. That looks right. I don't know what that was all about. Okay, and then from here to here, we have a horizontal distance. Oops, gotta put the zero in there. It does not like it. Whoa. When you don't put that zero in there, and I'm going to find. Okay, and then a length 
here. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work, huh? It's got to be longer than that. Uh, so we're going to have to have a big section. So we're going to want that to be 0.75, and that's going to come out of the screen on us. So uh, it should be like 1.75 inches long. I guess yeah, that's just not going to be enough. I don't like that. Well, let's make that one inch. And let's make that 2.75. Okay, so now I have this area over here. I have at least three quarters of an inch uh, square that I can work with. Because this is going to mount on it. This has got to be an L, so it's going to come out this way here. So then we close this. And we need to pad this so we get some... There we go. It's turned into a real part now. Look at that. Look how easy that is. Uh, now this height on that has got to be kind of thick enough to deal with uh, with everything. So let's make that three quarters of an inch. So that's going to set my screw height that goes on there now as well. You know what? I don't. Let's do half inch. There we go. So we got half inch, and then. So now we have this part. Oh, look at this this way. So there's the side. Look from the top down here. So screws go in there, and then there needs to be an L coming off the top here. So we kind of want that to be thicker, though, right? We want that to have lots of thickness on it because it's got to wham against the uh, the wall and stop it. So we want it to be a pretty robust connection here. So. I think we want to go. There's the top. I think we want to look at it from the bottom. And we want to create a sketch on this side. All right. And then we want a rectangle. Okay. So that was three quarters of an inch. So then the total length is three and three quarters of an inch. So from here to here needs to be three and three quarters of an inch. So we're going to put that constraint on that. 3.75. Okay. And then we need this from here to here. 0 0.75, there we go, okay, and from, oh, we just need that side right there, grab that side, that's going to be 0 0.75, there we go, so, and see how it's all green, that means it's fully constrained now, so we can exit out of that, and we should see it on the bottom, yes we do, okay, and now we want to pad it, so we're going to pad that, and then see the directionality is very important there so we want to reverse it see now it goes through the other way we also want to make it thicker I want to have it be thicker so we're going to have this be 0 0.75 okay there now it's a little bit thicker piece but I can tell right here we're going to have interference right oh I got a screw head right there that's going to be interference so we're going to want to go back into that There it is, see? So we want to add a little more. Let's put another quarter of an inch there. That way we we can get our nuts and uh, bolts through there, no problem. So we close that, and there we go. So now, I wonder if I can make it look kind of nice right here. You know what? I can probably trim that a little bit, huh? Let's give it a little trim. Trim that edge right there. I don't know what that button does. Oh, I don't know how to use that one. Uh, I think I can chamfer that edge. There we go. Okay, so let's go with 0 0.25. Ooh, look at that. It's starting to look pretty. Ooh, it's very pretty. Oops. Point 
takes it right down to the edge there. That's pretty. Okay. I wonder if I can chamfer that so. Well, I can. Oh, that's so nice. Hmm, that looks pretty nice. I think that's good enough. Okay, so now we're gonna file, we're gonna save that as, okay. We got all of these cool stuff. Look at all those parts. Oh my goodness, we got parts everywhere. All right, so this is going to be the louver stop version one. Did I spell louver right? I don't think that's how you spell it. No, that L-E-U-V-E-R, yes it is. Okay, so we're gonna save that. Okay, and now we got to get our uh, slicer open. So I think we got to save as uh, that's free cat. I think we have, so maybe it's export. Export. Okay, so we want to export that part right there. Export it. Oh man, I forget which form is okay. So we're gonna stop here and we're gonna go open the slicer. All right, so I got it figured out here. We got Cura open, all right, and it accepts the uh, STL file. So now we're gonna go back, file, export, and then we're gonna save this as the uh, Louver stop version one, but we're gonna save it as an STL mesh right there, save. And we come over to Cura, file, open files. Uh, I'm in the wrong spot there. Oops. Project. There it is. Open. Well call me crazy but that doesn't look anything that doesn't look anything like what uh, we designed there it looks like the surface of Mars though that's pretty cool we can just print that maybe Got cool canyons here um, yeah that's 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 not right that's that's definitely not right at all file open files Open. Hey, there it is. That time I did it right. That's weird. What in the world? Okay. So now we need to get our smart card. All right, so I just went and got the smart card out of the printer. And I'm putting it in here. Or SD card, I should say, not smart card. Okay, oops, I hit the wrong button, cancel that. Mm, yeah, I don't have Octoprint set up yet, prepare, there we go. Okay, infill, uh, this one's gotta be 100% filled in. And make it pretty, pretty tight resolution here. I don't think we need it that tight. Seven. I'm looking at the time here. See how long it's going to take to do all this. Five hours, 34 minutes. Okay. That works for me. We don't need support. Uh, yep, that shouldn't have changed it. You know, we can probably do less than 100% fill. Let's see what happens there. 70%. Still going to be pretty tough. Two hours, 54 minutes. All right. So they're going to save it to removable drive. save. Alright, so there's our file name. We eject that and let's go put it in the printer. Alright, so take the card out, put it in. There we go. And we're going to, looks like we'll probably run out of uh, filament on this one. That's okay. I got more. Print from SD card. 
mover go, and then I need to clean this off. Learned if you don't clean this off, it's El Bato, so we'll get that. Get it sprayed, let this warm up, and then it'll start printing, and uh, two hours and 54 minutes from now, we will have a part. All right, it just got done printing. There we go. Anything shiny in the bottom? It has two colors because it ran out uh, during the print, which I expected. And then we have some layering here. Uh, you can see those layers in there. And that's because when it ran out, uh, it went for a few cycles across, just a few cycles across, uh, and created this little ledge right here without having anything pushed through the extruder until the new stuff came. But look how nice that is. That's nice and solid. So pretty good. Uh, so we'll go out and do some fit checks with this uh, and I'll get back to you in another video with how it all turned out but uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, looks like it, it should work. Have plenty of space for our bolts to go through there and it's nice and hard so it should take lots of beatings uh, as it goes and kicks uh, against uh, the wall. So Thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is Real Martian. Out.